Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to SAP Knowledge Sharing Channel. So in this session, we are going to learn how to upload task list data into SAP using Migration Cockpit. In our previous videos, we learned how to uh, you know, um, create project, how to move project from one environment to another en environment or one client to another client so that we have seen in our uh, previous uh, session and also equipment creation. So entry and process we have seen how to upload. So in this session, we are taking example of equipment task list, how to upload equipment task list. So let's uh, try now. So now first we can access the migration cockpit app. So under data migration, we have migrate your data migration cockpit. Click on this and it takes us to the project screen. So here already I have created a project. Suppose if you if you don't know how to create project, then please watch my first video. In that you can find how to create project. Okay, then click on the this button and then you now you can see now we are we are in uh, equipment task list uh, uh, object. So in this, suppose if you want to download the template, then click on this button and click on the download template. One more method is there and select this object and click on the download template. So any method you can use and you can download the template. Okay, here we need to upload file. The step-by-step -step process we need to follow. So first step is upload file. So click on the upload file. So in this, we need to upload our XML file. And before this, I, I would like to show you how to update the XML template related to task list. So we'll open this ta uh, task list template. So this is the task list template. You can find introduction, field list, task list header, operations and activities, maintenance package, material component and production resource and tool. So these are the different tabs, the standard tabs SAP has provided. So in this field list, you can see the each the tab, uh, each tab and different the fields and what is the uh, you know the length. So everything you can find in this. Then go to the task list header. So to save the time, you no, know, already I have updated the data. Just we are going to check or we'll explain you how to uh, fill these uh, uh, fields. Okay. Here, the equipment number and group counter is mandatory in all the sheets. So this is important uh, parameter because we are uh, creating equipment task list. So equipment number has been provided and counter, we need to provide the counter. So group automatically, the system will uh, create the group. So counter, we need to provide. Suppose if we are, if you are creating more than one task list for one equipment, then you can, you can create, you can provide the different counters one two three like that and then valid from date description the planning plant okay work center the work center plant the task list uses overall status and then maintenance strategy or monthly strategy i have provided and then planner group and then header long text if you want to provide some header long text you can provide here then go to the next tab, operations and activities. And here you can see the equipment number and then activities. I have provided seven activities and this is a short uh, description of operations. And then here the calculation key I have selected as one. So one is nothing but calculate duration. So here I have provided the work and then unit of measure for this work is HUR. This is very much important. Suppose if you provide H or HR, system won't accept. You need to provide HUR. 
after creation system will take hr so no need to worry about that but in the template you have to provide hur and then number of capacities and then duration for the fields minimum fields we need to provide then check the maintenance packages so for each operations so we here we have seven operations so for seven operations we have to provide the packages numbers so in this monthly uh, strategy i have provided as uh, you know the uh, one two three like that like one is nothing but one month two is nothing but two month so every, every month i'm uh, you know uh, all the activities will carry out on uh, this one every month so i have provided as one month packages and then component so in this for uh, 10th component i want to uh, you know add this material okay so i have provided the material number here and component required so this is how we need to uh, fill this template okay now save this go to the migration cockpit app so in this now currently we are under upload so we need to upload now just we'll close this yeah so we'll upload click on the upload button and then we need to select the source data for pm equipment task list select click on the open so now you can uh, see the validation schedule system will validate the file which we uploaded okay then it creates staging tables okay staging tables are temporary tables which you know the data migration app it stores the data from xml template to these tables you can see the tables okay it has stored now the data has been stored and there are no entries in production resource so we have we have entries in header operation and activities maintenance packages material component and there are no entries here okay it is very much important that suppose if you want to re upload your file then it is important that you need to delete here and also you need to delete the staging table further all the steps it, it takes from the staging table only staging table will be your source data then go back and you can see the system automatically it is proposing the next step mapping task click on this mapping task and you need to confirm here like whether a equipment task list is an internal number or external number click on this then click on this button and i'm providing it as an internal system let system provide the number confirm then go back go back and click on the simulate start simulation just you you need to observe here uh, under action so automatically system will pro uh, propose the next steps and you can see here the status also simulation has been started now you can see there are errors and once again it is proposing the mapping task so directly i am going to the mapping task instead of reading the error suppose if you want to read the uh, this one error also just click on this just click on this and then you can see the error so what data we have been uh, you know uh, loaded here we can see okay just go back now we can go to mapping task directly we can go to mapping task now system is you know proposing other few uh, few more uh, you know the tasks to be 
uh, we, we need to map all these tasks. So one by one, we can map. That will be the uh, best practice uh, because without seeing, we can we cannot uh, confirm. So uh, even you know directly click. Here and click on the confirm. Suppose if you if you are uh, you know sure about the data which you loaded or uh, which are uh, as a source, if you are uh, sure about that data, directly you can click on the confirm also. All, all the things it will get confirmed. All the tasks. So now for uh, practice purpose, what I'm uh, doing now. So what is each task by task, we will try to confirm it. Now this step is regarding the control key, confirm it. Then next is mapping of external numbers. This is equipment. Since uh, you know the equipment, we already created equipment we are providing here. So I'm confirming it. And then next is mapping of ISO code of unit of measurement. Next is mapping of key for calculation. Confirm. Maintenance strategy. Yes, I have provided correctly. And one more thing, suppose if you have, uh, you know, provided some incorrect value during, uh, you know, uh, update of uh, uh, XML file template, and that has uh, been taken as a source, here you can change it. Okay, in target value, you can change this uh, this field okay just click on the confirm okay maintenance package number click on the confirm next is mapping of plant next mapping of product this is the material material number so I'm confirming it. Responsible planner group. So confirm. Mapping of status. So confirm. Four is the status I've provided. Mapping of task list uses. Again, it's four. So confirm. Next mapping of work center of plant. Work center for plant. So mechanical and electrical I've provided. So mechanical, electrical. So now go back. Once again, click on the simulate. So just wait for a few seconds so that it, it will start the simulation. And then once the simulation ended, and if you didn't find any errors, then system will propose you migration button here. <laughs> yeah, simulation has been completed and there is no, there are no errors and system proposed the action migrate. Now we can click on the migrate here. Migrate is nothing but you know, it, uh, it creates the data in SAP. Click on this migrate, start migration, click on OK. Now you will get the status once uploaded into system. Yeah, it, it is 100% now. So now we can check in SAP whether uh, the task list has been created or not. So for this equipment, you know, I have created the task list now. So currently I'm in IA03. So provided the equipment number, click on enter. And you can see the seven operations we provided and check the header. So these are the details we provided. And then Go to operations, go to package, check the packages. So one month I have provided one month uh, package for all the operations. Then for operation one, 
I have provided the component. So go to the component overview and you can check the material and the quantity. So this is how we need to upload the equipment task list into SAP using data migration app. I hope this information is very much useful for you. Uh, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, uh, if, if, if you feel like helpful, please like, click on the like button and also share to your uh, uh, friends. Thank you so much and wish you good luck. Thank <laughs> you.